hi guys welcome and today i have the yamaha subwoofer which is a white stsw216 i bought this from us so you can see it's a 120 volt system what i really want to do today is i want to open the whole amp the mono amp piece and get the power supply changed from 110 volt or 120 volt to 220 volt which is the power supply in this part of the world uh, it's perfectly for working fine, uh, good for a small application, small house, side firing port, uh, as you can see. Uh, of course, I've put it on the kitchen slab because that's easiest to reach to open the screws. They are fairly tightly tied. And as you can see, the plug is the US plug, uh, which I want to again change to a Asian European plug. So what I'll do is I'll open up uh, the whole thing and then maybe I'll show you from inside how does it look like and in case you want to open uh, you can see the inside part so this is where I have uh, unscrewed the bulk of the part so now I have opened uh, all the screws and as you can see I'm gonna take the plate out while I do this do subscribe and hit the like button that will help us keep producing more videos so as I pull the plate out this is exactly what you see I'm going to open it for everyone so you can see inside as well. It smells <laughs> of dampness. That is the power supply that we want to change right at the corner, the one right here. And let me put it on the other side. As we take the tray out, there are some wires which are being pulled. Here it is, here it is. You can see the whole thing. So here I have it. I pulled out the entire thing and now let's have a closer look. So this is the power supply right here that you see, which we want to change. And this also seems to be like some kind of power supply itself. The two, and this is the amp board. I want to like pull it up. So you can have a closer look into what kind of system they've installed. It says an ST, if you can read here, STK404070. I'm assuming that's the main chip or amplifier. It's got a heat sink. And then the capacitors. So the whole idea of sharing with you what capacitors, what chips are there is just in case your subwoofer stops working. You can always buy a $4, $5 amp board and replace the board of course if it's in warranty take it back to Yamaha or whoever your provider is so on the side you can see the heat sink chip which is hollow inside there's absolutely nothing inside you can see the switch boards and you can see the mat this is the equalizer part where the volume buttons so on the back you can see the input output volume everything's there this is the button, so I realize this is the power button, this black part, so switch on and off and the power supply is going right into the amp, right here from where it goes into the chip board. I'm sure it's a DC, it might be a 12 volt transformer, when we change we'll figure out. Yeah, it says, no, it doesn't say much. So that's the amp and I'm gonna be taking it now. This is, these are the two pins that will go to the speaker, the subwoofer. Now let's have a look what's inside the subwoofer. So here is what's inside the subwoofer. There you can see the Yamaha subwoofer, the speaker itself. And then there is a horn you can see from a distance, which is which creates the bass port. Otherwise the whole thing is very empty. Maybe I'll try to put in some foam, some sound absorbing foam. It's like made of MDF. And you can see that little pieces of MDF right there. Yeah. On the speaker part, if we can see and focus, it reads Yamaha X7416A06 ohms made in Indonesia. Yeah, looks like a big magnet. And the horn is, of course, for the air. Pressure that you can see it, <laughs> nothing much. <laughs> a little sound absorbing pad that was holding the speaker wire attached to this little piece. 
so that's it so if your subwoofer is not working or if you're looking at making a diy this is the most basic design that you can get for me i think i bought this subwoofer for 100 us dollars from us pretty okay to experiment with so enjoy if you have any questions let me know i'll also update you on uh, what the guys are saying when they want to change the power supply and of course how much it cost if you guys want to know just ping a question but do subscribe so i can continue to make more videos yeah encouragement is very very helpful thank you and bye